Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you all have had a good week. Wanted to go live today with my five on Friday, and hopefully something I say will be an encouragement to you. So I wanted to start inside first. Um, it is still Rosh Hashanah, so Shana Tova to all that are celebrating, and also Shabbat Shalom. Um, I just wanted to show you um, the aftermath of our um, little um, uh, function last night. We had people over for dinner. We had 15 people over and we still have a hollow left. I wanted to show you, I was still able to salvage some flowers from the garden. I'm gonna go out and show you the garden in a minute. But I just wanted to show you um, the rest of the table, um, what's left. Um, we had a wonderful dinner last night for uh, Rosh Hashanah with uh, family and friends. So that was a blessing. Um, we also went, um, to the Judaism Your Way <coughs> service at, uh, Botanic Gardens yesterday morning, um, and went to HEA, um, the night before. Um, so that was the first time I'd been to synagogue since I was, um, 12 for, like, a high holiday service, actually, in person. So, that was really nice. So, I'm going to flip you guys back around and take you back outside. <laughs> Sorry for the incessant barking from Zoe. Um, let me give you guys a tour of the garden. It's a beautiful day here. Um, we're starting out kind of cool. Fall's definitely in the air in the 70s. Um, the garden is still going. Um, it's you can see it's it's getting sp it's getting sparingly. It's starting to you know go out, but. There's still things, still beautiful things to be seen. The zinnias are still popping a little bit. Cosmos are getting smaller, but we still got stuff. Um, I don't know why that dog is barking over there. Um, but anyways, we got these beautiful little wildflowers. This bed is still doing really great. And that's where I got all those uh, zinnias from. I also put a reel out this morning about the dinner last night. Um, so yeah, the cosmos are still going. They're getting a little smaller, but we still got some beauties. Uh, another really beautiful one. Look at the coloring on that guy. It's amazing, amazing. So we're still going. The tree, uh, not changing too much yet, but you can see it's almost. And check out that balloon over there. Let me see if I can get it. Hold on, where'd it go? I think I'm over here. There's a balloon stuck in the power line. I don't know why I can't get it on the camera. So weird. Oh, there it is. See that balloon that's stuck in a power line? It's so odd. Anyways, it's a beautiful day. So anyways, let me flip you guys back around and uh, come over here and sit down and continue to fill you in. So that was the garden, um, like I said, in my Rosh Hashanah update. Oh, and also just wanted to say, um, reconnected with a cousin uh, about a year or so ago and she's got a lot of family and that's Amelia's dream was to have more family and um, Amelia did an amazing job um, with the spread. I mean, she just went all out. So check out that reel that I made. Um, and uh, if you guys know any single guys between the ages of 25 and early 30s, let me know because she's single and looking and she would make a great wife. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to marry her off or anything, but she is definitely looking. So anyways, uh, moving on to number two is my mom. Unfortunately, she, I got a well, I got a surprise phone call yesterday morning. I didn't start off too well at 6 a.m. Um, thankfully, I was awake. I had woken up with another migraine. But um, when I saw that it said Holly Heights, um, I knew I had to answer. So they found her on the floor with a pillow under her head. Now, does that make any sense? That makes no sense at all, does it? Um, there is absolutely no way she could have gotten herself on the floor with a pillow. Um, the thing, I think what logically happened in my mind is that she fell out of bed, um, and somebody put a pillow under her head and left her there, which is horrible. That gives me the most awful feeling. Um, they told me she wasn't hurt. 
um, and she got her back to bed. Um, and I had my hospice nurse go and see her, um, and she told me she was okay, that she was only complaining about a little left-sided pain. Um, I guess she could have broken a rib, maybe, but I don't know. There's not much we can do about that. Of course, unfortunately, it was on the left side of her, where she broke in her arm, that arm she has that's totally mangled. So I hope she didn't re-break that, but she wasn't really complaining about anything. She had no idea what had happened, so I guess maybe that's a blessing in a way. Um, and I talked to her. She sounded good. Um, my friend also checked on her who goes there every day to see her mom and they all said she was okay. So I don't know. In the meantime, um, I don't know what they're going to do moving forward. They've taken the bars away on all the beds again. Um, I know it's just ridiculous. This thing is crazy about you can have bars in a hospital, but you can't have them in a, um, facility, which is crazy to me. So I hope they're at least going to lower the bed. Um, my husband said she's going to try to find a mattress that maybe has like, you know, like a lip on it or something to keep her from coming out. I didn't even think she could turn herself in bed, but I don't know. It's all very concerning. But anyways, um, that's that. And then we had um, a friend of Amelia's came and sang to her this week, uh, played the piano and sang to her. And we played some games um, like what would you rather um, and talked about her time in Oklahoma. So I put a reel out about that for Mondays with mom. Um, and then number three is update on my health. Um, I did the steroids and they did not help, which is very surprising. And I had a lot of problems coming off of them. I was terrible last weekend. Um, just felt awful. Like my hands hurt so bad and the pain and it just felt heavy. It just, it was, it was awful. So I talked to a functional medicine doctor this week. I'm gonna see what she thinks. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna have to have blood work again next week. So I don't know, I'm on my third migraine this week. So um, say a prayer for me that we can find answers for my health. I can feel better. Um, and then number four, Etsy, things are still slow, um, which I guess is okay with my hands. But um, I also have made a, um, this onesie I want to show you guys. Let me turn it around here. My niece, um, the girl that works with her, is having a baby and she loves Winnie the Pooh. So do I. <laughs> And I made this onesie yesterday for her. Isn't that the cutest little thing? Um, I think I'm going to make a matching little hat to go with it with some bees on it. So um, I'm going to see if maybe I can sell those. I don't know with the copyright and everything, but we'll see. Um, so anyways, did that. Managed to do that, thankfully, with my hands. Um, hey, Marsha. I'm glad you could see it. Um, so anyways, that's that. And then last but not least is prayer. Um, sorry about the barking dog. Um, so anyways, let's just, of course, keep some people in prayer that are struggling right now. My friend Josh, my friend Tom from the church recovering from surgery, my friend Julie recovering from surgery, Liz and her husband Andrew on Instagram, who's pancreatic cancer, Krista Creative on Instagram, looking for answers for her health. And for me, um, also please say a prayer for... You know, the people in this hurric in the hurricane that are just, it's just awful. The devastation, those poor people that went through from this hurricane, that they can get help. Um, also, please say a prayer for, to stop this war in Israel and the Middle East. That horrible situation is day 364. Uh, the hostages are still in Gaza. And on Monday, October 7th, will be one year. It's just unfathomable. Um, you know, made it very hard to celebrate a new year knowing what's going on over there and that the hostages are still not home. Uh, so please keep them in your prayer as well. And then I just wanted to end um, with a prayer again from the Sunday paper, uh, Maria Shriver, uh, the prayer of the week. Dear God, may we embrace the sacred ground beneath our feet and live with intention, love, and peace as we journey through life's beautiful, messy seasons. Let our hearts be open to the mystical calling that brings us closer to the divine within and around us. Amen. So I hope something I said today was helpful to you. I hope you guys are enjoying fall where you're at. And I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, if you're needing prayer, let me know. I'll add you to the list.